Welcome back. You know, making the decision to attend college can be a pretty big step. But for many, it's the financial cost that attending gives them pause. This segment, paid for by Davenport University, can answer a lot of questions those who are wanting a higher education may have. Joining us is Davenport University's Laura Ayat. Hi, Laura. Good morning. Did I pronounce your last name correctly? Close. It's pronounced Ayat, but very uh, close. I was really close. <laughs> Hi, Laura. <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning. And attending college, uh, considering how to fund it, that, that can be intimidating, especially with all the news we hear of all of these students who are now in massive debt. What advice can you give to someone that is considering going to college, say, this fall? Great question, Tad. Now, my advice would be to stay curious and start your research. There's so many options out there to help you pay for college. There are different need-based grants and several scholarship opportunities still available. And I want you to think of scholarships and grants as free money that you can pay back or free money that you can apply towards college that you do not have to pay back. And that's pretty sweet. Now, as a high schooler, you should make sure to complete your FAFSA form. And you're probably thinking, what does FAFSA stand for? FAFSA stands for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, and the application will help you determine what you're eligible for. That's pretty simple. So there's a form out there that will tell you where you're at and what's available. And you mentioned that's for high school seniors and those in high school maybe going into college. But a lot of adults took a hard look at where they were during the pandemic and said, you know what, maybe I want to go back to school, get that master's, get the, finally get that degree. Are there options out there for adults looking to return to school? Absolutely. And you are never too old to go back to school. Now, as an adult starting college or returning to college, there are more options than you think. And the most important first thing is to do your research. And here are some things to check into. First of all, does your employer offer financial support for going back to school? I would recommend connecting with the HR department to find out more information. Does the college you want to attend provide academic scholarships or unique scholarships? For instance, last year, the state offered an incredible scholarship for frontliner workers to attend community college. Now, colleges like Davenport University also have creative scholarship offerings. For example, Davenport also introduced a new scholarship for frontliners and now also offers a scholarship through the federal government for anyone interested in getting into cybersecurity. That unique scholarship actually covers all tuition, living expenses, and guarantees a job after college. Whoa. So there are so many different options out there and it will literally pay to explore your options. That's amazing for something to cover your tuition, your everything, your living and a guaranteed job at the it's end of that. That's a pretty, now, when you say the word scholarship, a lot of people might think, okay, that's tied to grades, right? You have to get really good grades to get those scholarships. You just mentioned a couple that I don't believe are, are tied to your GPA. Are there many like that? Correct, yes, there's quite a bit. Um, a lot. There's a lot of scholarships based on need and then also grants as well. Um, so there, when you're doing your research, you want to look at all the different options that are available to you. Now, is there a place? Now, we, we know what we need to get. How about a place you'd maybe recommend to learn more, to talk through all your financial aid options? The Internet is a great place to start. Um, however, I would also reach out to the college you're interested in. Many colleges and universities do have a dedicated staff to assist students with exploring financial aid options and help, helping them through the admission process. So I would definitely start there. Excellent. So that's what you can do. That's where you can go if you're exploring your options for attending college, both for high schoolers and for adults looking to get that degree or further their education. Laura, thank you so much for that information this morning. Appreciate the time. No problem. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. If you want to learn more about scholarships and education opportunities at Davenport, go to davenport.edu. And if you have any other questions about this, call 1-800-686-1600 or email info at davenport.edu. We'll be right back.